Hey guys, what's going on? You know who I am, and you know who you are. This is 1987 Mastermind, and uh, we are back for more Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And in the last part, we uh, started the game, obviously. <laughs> A bunch of cutscenes, learned about how the prince recaptured the Maharaja, and uh, I introduced the game, you know. Anyways, uh, not a good recap. Alright, so here is another uh, thing that we learn. Go R1, jump from wall to wall, and you're good. Oh, actually, maybe not. There's another cutscene, actually not. Oh god, I sense you're good Maybe I should do more there it lay, Just out of reach. Dagger of time. The dagger of time. Yeah. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. Yeah. I could only get there. Close yet so far. Up here. I know this game too well. I know it's embarrassing. Um, um, you know, this game really it's not like God of War. There's not a lot of pause, no boss fights. Am I going the right way? I guess I am. Good. Well, so here we are introduced. It obviously gets a lot harder later on in the game, but here we are introduced to uh, the first uh, booby trap part of the game. And this is what really makes the game. I think challenging and entertaining, you know. So, yeah, anyways, we got a new character. Uh, oh, crap. Actually, I got it. Jump here. You just gotta, I mean, the main thing in these, in these games is that you gotta look at your surroundings. Jump, Prince, Prince. Jump. <laughs> Don't worry, I mean, my commentary is gonna get better, I promise, because uh, the game is gonna get a little harder and uh, more frustrating. <laughs> so. Okay, here's another feature. Oh crap. Okay, let's be. Go up. Okay. Here's another feature. Run along the wall, and if you notice to your right, there is a ledge. Jump up. And here we are. Next little area. Let's go. Alright. Alright, so these videos are going to be really a lot shorter, I think, than the God of War videos. Because I know the game, I know the game better, and it's easier. There's more stopping points. I think there's more save points. So I don't know. I'm just gonna try to, you know. Oh no, let's not do that. Jump here. Let go over here. Uh, yeah. Hopefully the commentary will get better because the game is gonna get more interesting. I think it's gonna go over here. <gasps> Up. And keep in mind we don't have the dagger, so if you die. Die at this part, you're screwed. So, yeah. Yep. Alright, so here, it's just a ledge jumping. Column jumping, I should say, not ledge jumping. That's a way off. Uh, now, one thing it, it, most people don't notice is that, you know, people get confused how the hell do I get off here? You notice that this pole is, uh, Shorter than all the other ones, so you just boop down over here, and that's it. I've beaten this game, I think, most of like 45,000 times. I don't even, I, I don't even count, but I still don't know this game exactly, and I'm probably gonna have to practice a lot. All right, jumping on a hand, jumping on a statue. for that oh, oh, oh ceiling watch out for that commentary is that when you're doing live commentary, uh, you have nothing much more to say. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so here's a big cutscene. Yeah. Alright, so we're five minutes in. Hey, don't forget we have the, uh... We have the, uh, unlimited uh. time. Why don't we really want to Father, me? I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Not necessarily get our, not necessarily more of us to attack, I just need to find out. 
jump again, I think. I have to play it. Press X, jump, and close the press triangle. But I didn't. Okay, guys. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. 